Good day everyone, I find myself up in Gauteng at the venue in Mulders Drift for tomorrow's event. Some of the people will be arriving today and uh, today is the 1st of April. Uh, it's uh, April Fool's Day as many people have uh, labeled it across the world. So many pranks being played on people uh, today I suppose. But there's one thing that I want to talk to you about because of what's been in the media recently uh, that is not a prank at all. Uh, it's actually quite a serious thing. And that is that uh, the question that many people ask and things that many people say. Uh, people say that in future there will be an explosion at Kubik nuclear power station. And this comes from right wing circles and very specific people that made predictions like that in a book that was written uh, based on the life of Sina van Rensburg, a complete misinterpretation. And because of this, every time an article goes out on Kubik nuclear power station and uh, the media love sensation, it's all that they can sell at this stage because they can't actually do proper investigative journalism. The crowd goes wild. So I want to explain to you again why Kubik nuclear power station cannot explode. And certainly not like a nuclear weapon or anything like that. Because the fuel inside the nuclear reactors at Kubik are enriched below 4%. Enrichment. You need 80% enrichment of uranium to get a nuclear weapon to work, to get a critical mass for an explosion. So it's impossible for the fuel at Kubrick to explode like a nuclear bomb. It cannot happen. So whatever those people had in mind uh, uh, and, and conjured up, it's all nonsense. It's hearsay and I don't want that to be part of your April Fool's uh, understanding. Please understand that Cuba cannot explode. There's many other things that can happen that are mitigated through incident and accident procedures, which I was very well trained to handle. And so are all the other operators at Cuba. At the highest level in the world, all the licensed operators at, at Cuba have info accreditation, the International Nuclear Plant Operators. It's an American-based organization that has accredited Kubrick's training for licensed reactor react operators to be up there with the best in the world. And Cuba is the only power station outside of the US that has that accreditation and that is certainly not something that you should see lightly so when you see things in the media I just know these people are not nuclear experts even the senior people in ESCOM are not nuclear experts and they don't actually understand what is happening on the ground leave that to the professionals if you actually want to know what's happening speak to the people on the plant and find out from them most of them won't want to speak to you so you're not going to know but myself, as a nuclear professional that have worked in the control room, received the license to run the reactors, was in charge of Unit 1 control room uh, for many years, uh, I can tell you that there will never be an explosion of the reactors at Kuburg. It is not possible. It's not scientifically possible. And anything else that can happen is mitigated through incident and accident procedures that the plant was designed for and that the staff was trained to mitigate so that it doesn't affect the public. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content on this channel, please subscribe, click the bell icon and become a member. Last night I did a live stream for about an hour. It was a bit later than usual. Uh, I started about half past nine, but I did a, uh, an hour long live stream. If you want to be a member, you can go and watch uh, to hear what I have to say. Just click the join uh, button underneath this video. And then you can become a part of the community. But there, because it's a filtered community, I can give you information that's more pertinent. I also give information to the members in the community tab. Information that they can go and do further research on. As I always say, you need to go and do research on the information I give you. Don't just trust what you hear out there. Do your own research. Make it your own. Thank you very much. Till the next video.